What's going on everyone? Day 25 out here. The sun is shining, looking like a beautiful day. I say that a lot, <laughs> but uh, we're going to a zone today. I haven't been to in like five, six years. It's kind of a small zone and it looks like there might be some tracks in here, but uh, I remember there being lots of gnarly riding around here in five years ago when I, uh, you know, it was kind of fresh out here. We'll see what it's like today. <laughs> Oh. The sled handles completely different with that tunnel bag back there. Stay in the sun, I don't want the shade. So from what I remember, this was like an all day zone to get into here and go up to there. And uh, that's about five minutes and we're 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 here. <laughs> nice little waterfall over here. Wonder if I could get up that ridge and over. Definitely not, that's pretty steep. Lots of ski tracks. We've been doing a lot of riding this year and it's been great, but I wanna take some time over the next few days to talk about some of the gear I wear and some of the gear I carry on my sled. Today, we'll just talk about the outerwear I'm wearing. Uh, 509 head to toe. We'll start with the 3K carbon helmet. Uh, really like this helmet, it's light, especially when you get that GoPro on there, things get a little heavy. So having the lightweight helmet's nice, strong. Uh, it is getting a little more out because I got two seasons on it now. The cheek padding anyway, so either I uh, want to replace that or maybe just get a new helmet. Today I'm wearing the two-piece ether suit. Jacket's 23, pants are 22. Uh, they switched. They, they don't run the Sympatex in the ether anymore, but great durable quality. Uh, a lot thicker than, than the Sympatex pants from last year. They also refined the fit a little bit and uh, really impressed with how it fits. Uh, one of the best things for me is the cuffs are really small. So you have these adjusters, but I never touch these because when you take them on and off all day, they just fill up with snow and then they don't close anyway. So the cuffs are a lot smaller on these and it, they fit perfectly just over the glove. Then the pants, like I said, are Sympatex. The material feels a little thinner and cheaper, but they've still held up well. Waterproofing is good. The only real cut in them is from me cutting them with my saw. And then we've got the double boa boots. No complaints about those. The sole is actually holding up pretty well. Usually I'm about two pairs of boots in a season. Then the gloves are the free ride gloves. I carry usually like three or four pairs of these. I just swap them out as soon as they get damp. I, I just like to run with the dry glove. Then the goggles, we got the Sinister X7s. I don't like to run the heated goggles personally. I know lots of people love them, but for me, I almost find I fog up worse if I'm running the heated goggles and they're not turned on. And these, I pretty much never fog up. I don't know if I just not breathing heavy enough, not sweating enough. But if you're somebody that's fogging up all the time, you're definitely gonna need those heated goggles. Then we've got the double boa boot. Wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Turns out it's not a little baby tree. Oh yeah, there's a big stump there's in there, there eh? Oh, a little bend in the tie rod. You're probably looking at Hello How'd you do that? Yeah, one of those. Yeah. I followed your line. <laughs> and I got so you're up. blaming me. Yeah. It's steeper than it looks. <laughs> Yeah, I 
can't get up there. Let's see what kind of difference that makes. That's insane. Like I was nowhere close to touching that hill with the tunnel bag. to roll upside down in my trench. No. Jason will make that no problem. Shit. I wanted to get up there, but... I should see if my shepherd's pie fell out. It's still here. I guess we could be nice guys and put them in a track. You ready, Doug? No, dude. That's easy. Really? You can pull that chute? It's not a chute. The main trail goes up like right here. It's a really easy way, but the guys don't really believe me that it's an easy way. They think I'm just trying to bring them into crap. I wouldn't do that. Ooh, that's nice. You can see skiers over there. Pretty awesome freaking day up here for it being cloudy today, according to the weatherman. I know there's some people that want us to do more jumping. It just hasn't really lined up this year, but we still got a lot of time left. What do you see? Not much. No, not much. I wonder how my shepherd's pie liked rolling down the hill. Oh! Uh-oh! <laughs> Shit! Derek's uh, gonna attempt some bow ties here, his first ones ever. Super slope. 
Jason's showing uh, Derek how they do bow ties. Just like that. Now Derek, give her a whirl. <laughs> Taylor wants in on the bow ties now too. <laughs> jumping Jerry's. Jerry doing some jumping. Nice work. Did the track come off the ground? I think so. <laughs> no, you got you got good air. He wants that little pillow right there. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> did you have a Red Bull? Look at your line off the top one there. That's as good as it gets. Nice, man. I don't know how soft that landing was. Jesus. I had it in my own bomb hole. Oh, did you? It didn't, it didn't look very soft. Well, I guess it's that time of day. We're losing our sun here, and we're gonna work our way out. Well, change of plans. We're not heading out that early after all. Uh, Jason lost his GoPro off his helmet when he hit that jump. <laughs> but we're just gonna rip up quick and see if we can dig through the snow and find it. Chances aren't great, but it's worth the luck, right? Okay, somewhere in here is where it is. Where it is, nobody knows. We have connected to the GoPro. It is actually on. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> Listen closer. Well, you know what I can do. Why don't you play a... a oh, I'll see where it fell off. Yeah, play a video. <laughs> oh, that was oh it's not it. You don't have it. It must be shallow though, look how blue it is. Record again? GoPro, where are you? <laughs> What's that gonna do? Let's see if we can hear it. But if the GoPro can, can hear it, then we must be close. Nothing. Well, we have to be somewhat close to it, to it if you connected to it. You did! Oh you my god, right I literally drove over it! Drove, I drove it's over right it. here somewhere. You think? I right? think it's right beside, like right here somewhere. Oh, oh, oh! Oh! oh. 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 Don't smash it! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so worth it! <laughs> worth it! That's pretty awesome that we actually found the GoPro. If it was mine, we would have never found it because uh, I'd never connect them to my phone. Or maybe I'll have to now. It's a good day, boys. Cheers. <laughs> a little better than yesterday? Excellent day. One out of ten? <laughs> uh, blonde, nine out of ten. <laughs> Jerry? I'd say an 8.5. It was a good day. Taylor? It's always a good day. I'll give it a ten again. <laughs> ten again. See, we keep rating every day, it's too difficult. I don't know, eight again? Eight again, jeez. I'm gonna say uh, an eight, but probably a 10 because we found Jason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a 10, finding yeah. out.